Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Apa King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today I'm bringing you guys some lost footage from NBA 2K11 Crew Mode. Yes, I said it, NBA 2K11 Crew Mode, man. Um, I haven't uploaded the Crew game in I don't know how long. Um, the reason being is because I traded in NBA 2K11 when I got NBA 2K12 with high hopes. And of course my hopes were driven into the ground and probably pummeled six feet under and dumped an entire... 10 story building on top of but um, let me get into what I want to talk about today I want to talk about NBA 2k 13 crew mode if they have it in the game now of course we already know that NBA 2k 12 was a big disappointment because of the simple fact that all us crew mode lovers became haters of 2k sports now we already know the reason behind that they said that they were going to shut down the servers for NBA 2K11 and that it wasn't going to be any crew mode for 2K12. And a lot of people couldn't swallow that. So what 2K did in order, you know, to fight the peace, you know, fight the power, you know, not not take too much um, damage from was to keep the servers open. And they said until April for 2K11. But as of right now, the servers are still up and running. People are still playing crew mode at 2K11. And a lot of people have actually let 2K12 collect dust because some people think, you know, if I'm already in 99 on my player mode in 2K11, why play 2K12 when I can't do anything online with my my player? So I want to give, you know, all the people out there that have been playing NBA 2K11 a couple reasons why I think they should get NBA 2K13 if crew mode is going to be in it. Now, this is what I would like to see in NBA 2K13 crew mode. The first thing is... When you're making a crew, you should be able to get better team colors, more jersey and emblem templates. You should already, and I mean not already, but also get an arena that you can play in, which is fit with your custom colors, your emblems, and the arena and crowd. Now, when, when I'm saying that is, if you look at the floor on NBA 2K11 crew mode, it's the same generic floor. The fans, they don't have on any team colors because they don't know which team is home or away. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, real, it's, it's really messed up. Um, also, you should as well get a coach. Now, when I say get a coach, when you pick a certain coach on NBA 2K12 or 2K11, you know, then comes their tendencies, what type of playbooks they run and all of that. So, you know, if you get a good coach, you know, why not have some of the best playbooks, some of the best tendencies that you could turn up or down? Also, we should get separate home and away jersey uniforms that can be alternates. Like, you know, if you pick LeBron James and them uh, alternate jersey for home, that joint is, it looks a little bit better than their original. So, with that being said, let's move on. Now, we also need a play call system for each player on the floor. Not just the point guard can call plays and all of that. I can't stand that. That makes me pissed off. You want to know why? Because every person on the floor would want to be point guard. It's that simple. You got seven foot guys running around here talking about, no, I'm playing point. The other guy looking at him, he's 6'3", like, so where am I going to move to? He like, oh, you can play center. <laughs> you feel me? So with that being said, man, you guys just got to give more play call systems to all these other players, man. Everybody wants to be a point guard, man, for real. I'm just keeping it 100, man. Moving on. Now, I think I like the idea of having public lobby so you can choose what crew you want to face. You know what I'm saying? And in that lobby, you should be able to see their stats, their win-loss ratios, and even their ranks may it be positive or negative. So it can show you if they cheat or if they play legit. Now, with that being a part of the NBA 2K crew mode, I think a lot of people would love that, man. Because you can see a little bit of that in NBA 2K9. Anybody remember that game? <laughs> but I'm um, also... Incorporate NBA Online League mode into it a little bit. Now, in 2K11, we had that. But in 2K12, of course, you know, that's not a part of it. So, what that is, is when a certain crew, you know what I'm saying, comes into the game, you can actually go into your friends list. You can get a couple people that's on there that's in different crews, different ranks, and stuff like that. And make like a 20-game tournament to see who is the best out of all of them. Or just, you know, just to get bragging rights. You feel me? So that would be an awesome thing to have inside the game. Um, not no random, you know, uh, drafts or none of that. Just straight up crew with your team. And when you come into the tournament, you can't change your team mid midway. So if you got the white in them, you got to stick with them. Straight up. You can't pick LeBron in them for the last game of the season. <laughs> um, now, 
having crew games available between your friends list. Now, it's a little bit sound like a tournament, but this is more like when you play in team up mode on 2K12, you can get all your friends in one lobby and everybody choose sides. With this, you can tell the GM, yo, go highlight that GM. He said he wanted to face us. I got the message. And when they get into the lobby, all they got to do is hit up their friends list, that's, all their friends that's in their crew and say, yo, hop in this lobby right now. You're invited. And now you can go up against the other team by invitation. That would be so much easier. Plus, you can make certain rules to the game so it could be more legit. Like, yo, nobody do all of these certain exploits and all of that. Or, you know, we quit and straight up no, no, no holes bar. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be a whole lot easier to do and, you know, make things legit so people won't just come in the game doing whatever they want. Now... Also, I think that we should have sliders in the NBA 2K13 crew mode if they have it in the game. I keep saying if they have it in the game, but I want it in the game. <laughs> um, the reason why I think that we should have sliders, we should have sliders for us, the CPU, difficulty, and minutes. Now, what I mean by that is for the sliders for us. If you know darn well the, the three-point shot is too much, the corner threes are too much, you can turn a couple sliders down to make that easier or a little bit harder now for the CPU we already know if you're playing on the team and the CPU is playing like shit you know why because the AI isn't shit with your team but if you're going up against the computer the computer AI is like the most amazing thing in the world <laughs> you feel me so hopefully you know you can change a few sliders and make the CPU play admirable to the game now difficulty when it comes to difficulty you only used to be able to play on one mode in NBA 2K11 crew mode. We all know that. But if you're able to play on Hall of Fame, or even for crews that aren't that good, you know, play on Pro or All-Star, you know, you know, a few things like that. But, you know, for the most part, I would love to be able to play on Hall of Fame and crew mode. Um, also, when it comes to minutes, um, five-minute quarters are great. But... A lot of people want to play 7 minute quarters to make it more interesting. Some people even want to play the full 12 to get a full game action. You know, some people want to put up amazing numbers in 12 minute quarters. You feel me? Now, the hacking and the glitching. We all know that it's a big thing. Um, one thing that I will say is, hopefully this will help it. Um, when I created my mod player, um, I tried to move it to another account on my PS3 and I wasn't able to do it because it told me that that my player wasn't made under that email. So hopefully 2K or is trying to fix that problem. But one thing that I will say is if you're playing with your my player online and offline, you should be able to gain skill points in both. It's just like when you play online pickup games in my player mode for NBA 2K11. You should be able to get a few skill points. Not nothing crazy, not 3,000 and all of that. But, you know, get a get a 1,000 or 1,500. That would be awesome. Also, all of the my player data should be stored on 2K servers. At, like, it, should, it shouldn't be back in the Stone Age, <laughs> age and all of that. Whereas, though, people can't even get their my players up to par, you know, and can't get them on the servers because... When I go on NBA2K.com, I'm able to see my recent games. I'm able to see when I created my mod player, what attributes my mod player has, what height he is, you know, all of that. So when the 2K server should be up and running and all of that, and his website should be at 100%, everybody's mod player should be for public record. So that 2K could point out if your mod player is hacked or he's hacked with a whole bunch of skill points. He only played five games or if he's uncapped in height. You feel me? If if you see a 10-foot mob player on public record on the 2K.com uh, website, you should be able to ban that player from the rip. You know, it shouldn't be no problem. You know, a lot of people got banned from Call of Duty when they modded their systems to get that 10th prestige from MW2. Everybody already knows about that, right? So why can't 2K do that in my player crew mode and all of that? So also, moving on, um, when you're making your mob player, it should be a reasonable cap for height. Now, we all know that Yao Ming retired. He was the tallest player in the NBA. Now, since he's not in the NBA anymore, it should be dumbed down. Now, when I made my center this year for my player mode, I noticed that I couldn't make him 7-5. So, with that being said, is that job well done or was that just a minor glitch in the game? But, who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Now, moving on to the lagging, the servers, and the online stability. 2K has been working on that all year for 2k12 
Um, a lot of people play ranked matches. A lot of people play their friends on their friends list. Now, you really can't get over the lag. Lag happens. It's a part of the game. Everybody doesn't have beast internet. It's just that simple. The 2K servers can't keep up with people that ain't got great internet. It's, it's just that simple. So, with that being said, hopefully they can incorporate something to us where the game slows down on both systems. So that it could be a level playing field or they could just say, you know what, I don't want to play this guy. I'm backing out. Why is the reason that you're backing out? Because his internet is ass. <laughs> Real talk. Now, moving on to all the exploits. This is the last thing I'm going to say. Now, the pump fake glitches. It seems like they're going. The corner fast break threes. I haven't really seen too much of that in NBA 2K12. Um, the reaching in the backcourt. All those exploits taking charges and all of that. I haven't seen that happen to me. Um, I haven't seen a computer do it. I haven't done it. I don't know if people do it online in ranked matches because I don't play ranked matches. So if anybody does, leave it in the comment section. Tell me if that is still going on in 2K. But what I will say is the biggest exploits in NBA 2K12 is the spin layups <laughs> and the up and unders. I'm telling you, if you could do a mean up and under and mean spin layups, you can cheese like that all game long. It's just that simple. So if 2K can fix a little bit of that. Now what I have noticed in NBA 2K12 my player mode. If your my player doesn't have a great ability in spin layups and hop step layups, he's going to be ass. <laughs> Real talk. So hopefully everything um, is fixed with that. Um, hopefully this was informative. I'm glad you guys watched. Um, just you know, hit me up in the comment section. I'm here to get back to all comments. You already know what it is. This is IKC signing out, and yes, we won this game. It was a nail-biter, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.